But anyway, you invite him in and allow him to begin wooing you. He did begin wooing me. He lit three candles, strategically placed around the room. He turned on his Bluetooth speaker, which he conveniently had in his back pocket. Yeah. Pulled it out, placed it on the table. It's almost as if he came prepared. He was very prepared. Mm. I think he's always ready to swoon. I suppose he is. Always ready to woo the right person. And was he a bit of a charmer? Oh, I tell you what. Guess what he played. What? No, guess. Oh, um, uh, Umbrella by Umbrella Rihanna. Umbrella by, by Rihanna. Rihanna. Oh, yeah. my God, your song. My favorite song. Oh, my yeah. God. So he, he plays it. I go. How do you know? No fucking way. How did he know? How did he know? I don't, maybe he watched my stream. Maybe well, he does. Mm. <laughs> uh, so I immediately get up on, you know, that stripper pole you have in your dining room? Oh, oh of course. How could I forget? Got up on that, turned on the overhead shower uh, that, that you have above Just this. installed. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, just installed this thing started dancing around like i had an umbrella yeah that, that's when you t- came in i believe well i thought i saw something like that but i was just so alerted by the orange that i barely noticed <laughs> makes sense yeah yeah it, it makes sense that you would miss the strobe lights and the uh aggressive uh very loud umbrella and uh your friend stripping on a stripper pole with a shower head showering him because orange peel big no-no <laughs> so I'm outside now because I've yeah. shut the door quickly. Yeah, of course. Because I don't want to be too close to this thing. You just don't want to risk it. Because what happens when I when I, I'm around an orange peel swagger? You, you, <laughs> you remember that time, <laughs> dude? <laughs> dude, you straight up pull down your pants and started shaving your pubic hair like with a razor in your back pocket. You started <laughs> dusting it all over your eyeballs and scratching it in, going orange, <laughs> orange, <laughs> orange, like that. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. whoa. You yeah. can't help it. I was like, what yeah. is this? You're like, dude, it's an allergic reaction. I can't help it. I said, fair enough. I'm going to come clean here on the podcast. He actually keeps a card in his wallet that says, I'm allergic to oranges. Well, I'm going to come clean here. And this is, I don't know. We, we're, pretty, oh. we're pretty real on this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we like to talk about real things. Truth. Genuine things. We like to speak the truth and just be, our, be ourselves. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm going to be honest here and say that I'm not allergic to oranges. I fucking knew it. But I have severe PTSD from an experience in early childhood involving an orange peel. And that's why when I see them, I pull down my pants and shake my <laughs> little penis and my ball sack. I start clawing at my eye. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, okay, that's understandable. And I'm tearing up saying this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I don't really want to go into the yeah, experience no, that fine. caused this that's problem. For me, I understand. For me. I understand. But I, can, I can only imagine. It's obviously not an allergy. Well, I obviously yeah. you've known about my ex- I, I I share. This is how we became oh, good friends. That's right. Is, is by bonding over our traumatic orange peel experiences in in our youth. Well, anyone who's seen my videos will, will know about oh, yours, yeah, but you want to go over it again for the podcast. Well, basically, in elementary school, during lunch, you know, the recess lunch, that, that, that hour-long yeah, break. TV show recess. Um, kids show. K- kids would, would bring their pillowcases to school in their Yeah, multiple in their, kids, in not just bags, one. Yeah. About, about four, four of them. About four. Um, and they would buy three to four oranges from the school cafeteria. Enough to create some tension in the pillowcase. And they'd yep. throw it in the, in the pillowcase, and then uh, they, they'd hunt me down uh, outside in the, in the yard, and they'd, and they'd uh, beat the shit out of me. With, with Doesn't all leave these, a bruise. No, no bruises. No bruises, just, only pain. Yeah. Painful oranges. That's how then, I beat my kids. And then they'd go, and I'd be screaming. I'd say, I'd say, hey, hey, Sorry. stop it, stop it, Sorry. stop, stop. And they'd go, hey, just making orange juice, you fucking freak. Just yeah. making some orange yeah. juice. You oh, like orange that? juice? Orange and juice. I, I'd They're just like, making dude. orange juice. Yeah. I'd say, dude, it, you can like hit it on a rock. You don't have to hit it on me. And they go, yeah, but rocks don't scream. Yeah. Oh, that is a good point. Yeah. That is a good point. It's one of those fucked up things where you can see exactly where they're coming from, yeah. but it doesn't make it any more right. Yeah. Like, what they like, did to you was wrong. It's like, I understand completely. why you're doing this. Like, the logic's clear. <laughs> you see, you, you but, just, you just see not this my it. therapist. It's not a good enough reason, fine. is it? I hear no. enough of it. Well, yeah, I mean, in a way, swear, and this is kind of fucked up to say, but I'm kind of glad that we both have these shared experiences because when we took acid, we really bonded over just talking about this and revealing the fact that we both have issues with orange peels yeah and then you smelt the lemons oh man. as a peace tribute it was like therapy to the citrus world it was like therapy yeah yeah beautiful that's right so where were we i don't know man 